these two tanks here. And then what do you do with it? Um, it goes, I'll show you the process um, in a minute. One of our botanicals. So where does the coriander come from? Uh, it comes from Russia. And actually this year, coriander's in quite short supply, so that's why it's all uh, within the distillery grounds at the moment. And then it goes in the um, lift and up to the sleeves. So these guys have weighed up what they need for the one distillation process yeah. and yeah. each one of those goes into one of the stills, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you're doing two tomorrow then? Yeah. What's this? So this is Seville Orange. Um, so the, if I just give you one of these, and so what they do is they peel it all by hand and then they hang it out on the clotheslines so it all dries and then it's packed um, and then this is held by it. Protein that doesn't travel across in distillation so people with um, nut allergies can still, okay, yeah. Yeah, can still, still consume it. So under the element, what's in the tank there? What's it? In the, in, the blue, in the blue thing? Well, let's just have a look. That's coriander seed. Oh wow. And if you smell this, um, as I said we use Russian or Bulgarian coriander. And if I ground it up for you. If you smell this, it's really fragrant, sort of lemon kind of uh, aroma, rather than Moroccan coriander, which is much more peppery, much more spicy. Um, and if you smell it, it's got um, quite a woody, um, so what's Angelica? Sorry, Angelica is... Do you know um, on Christmas cakes how often yeah. you have that green shiny leaf? Yeah. This is the root of that plant. Right. Um, and so um, it basically gives sort of a bitter sort of a character to the gin. Um, is this aniseed then? No, it's licorice. Licorice? Yeah. Wow. No. Um, Um, it's a really hot summer and uh, it's a, the juniper crop was much reduced compared to previous years. So we need to buy it really quickly. Um, it's a bit of a It's like a lemony kind of fragrance to it rather than... Yeah, it's quite different from that. I've heard, isn't it? Yeah. Almond. We use a bitter almond. And Oris has a really important role, is it acts as a binding agent to bind all the flavours together. Talk tomorrow when the stills are turned on, um, and so that starts the distillation process. Right, you do? About two or three times a day. Okay. Um, just to maximise the flavour right. and make sure that things aren't sticking to the bottom. Um, but if I put my hand in here, This is the new distillery. Four, yeah, three, oh, three, three. Oh, no, 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 no,
comes across boots because those flavours are more reduced to bottling strength. Okay. And so since we operate five stills here, we um, store all production for a week on this side and then it's taken to Scotland uh, where it's bottled um, and that just ensures that if there's any um, differences between stills that the batch is always consistent.